All right, are you ready for some fun here? This is a show that fuses science, history, anatomy, physics, and uh, all with genuine sideshow acts. It's called Freak Show and Tell. Tom Britton is the man behind the show. Good morning, Tom. So earlier this morning, I was watching uh, some of your videos. Incredible, blew me away, can't Thanks. wait, I couldn't wait for the interview. And uh, I guess, where do you come up with this stuff? Eating fire, walking on glass, getting electrified, uh, electrocuted yeah. essentially, that's amazing. So all of it is old stuff. These are not original ideas. I hope the show is original, but you know, fire eating is, every culture discovered something very similar. Fire eating, fire walking, fire spinning. We like to play with fire, it's innately human. Glass walking is from the 1700s. The Tesla coil I use, now I like this, it's my favorite new part of the show. I run 100,000 volts through my body and light light bulbs with my bare hands and torches off of my this. face and hands, like an X-Man, right? That is literally a cover from Nikola Tesla's touring marketing show. Nikola Tesla performed this, so like a cover band, I'm performing it. Which is a neat kind of talk about standing on the shoulders of giants and taking their ideas around. So part of the show though, mm -hmm. uh, Tom, is, you know, everybody would always ask you, how you did it, where'd you do it, how do you do this? And this is what this show kind of incorporates together. Yeah, it's an FAQ was how I built it, <laughs> yeah. uh, like the bullet points of a script. You know, when you start writing, you, you, so I used to just perform it. You play some music and you walk out and you eat fire and you wave and you walk off stage. Then the next, the juggler comes out, whoever's next <laughs> in the variety show, right? And then afterwards, you know, you meet and greet. Nowadays you take photos and selfies, high five, what, shake hands, say thanks for coming to the show, blah, blah, blah. And I started noticing I got like the same four questions over and over and, you know, how are you not burned? Is it a magic trick? And it is not, it's a physics demonstration. There's no deception involved, which is what, that's the show and tell part. Otherwise it'd be a terrible magic show and tell. <laughs> be awful, here's where the dove is and all that kind of stuff, like no. So I used that as a basis. I thought, well, if there's interest, then I should answer it. And everything in science starts with, it always sounds so silly. You start with questions a three-year-old would ask you. What is time? Mm -hmm. So you learn in school, minutes, seconds, days, the sun, the moon. Okay, ask Einstein, what is time? Lord, uh, right. <laughs> how much time? I don't understand it. <laughs> There's volumes of it. Ask Stephen Hawking, what is time? You get an infinitely more complex answer. Same thing with fire. So if you're gonna do fire eating, you first have to ask a stupid question, what is fire? But I don't mean like, Caveman, fire hot, fire burn, fire heat cave. That's the innate human understanding of fire. Ask a scientist what is fire, and you get way more complicated answers and different answers. If you ask a chemist what is fire, you get one answer. Ask a physicist what is fire, completely different. Okay. My degree is an undergraduate degree in applied sciences. So the answer for me is much simpler. Uh, fire is What do you rust. have that dipped in? White gas. Okay, But Fair So enough. think about how old, so gas is discovered in the ground in Pennsylvania, 1880 something, right? Thereabouts. Okay, <laughs> but fire eaters were around before then. So anything that will burn going back 100,000 plus years in human history, we've used. So this is just what I can get cheaply around the world as I travel. But it could be literally anything depending on the country and time you drop me into. Um, for me, fire is rust. It's rusting really, really, really quickly. Okay. It's oxidization. It's the exact same on a molecular level. There's no difference between rusting and fire. So if oxidization is the key, then oxygen is the way you control it. Okay. That's how you eat fire. So and you don't have to move back. I promise it won't okay. go too far. It's, I know it's a fright. Well, that's important. The human animal yeah. part of the brain goes, Wah. that's what you have to overcome. So you just have to find fancy ways to control the flame. Once you can do that sort of stuff, and all you do, it burns. And I learn through 10,000 reps how to snuff that flame the millisecond before I burn. Okay. So it's maximum impressive and minimum damage. But you're gonna get blisters as and you And we burn. don't want you to try this at home, by the way. I wanna throw out that, that disclaimer. So I also mentioned the barrier to entry. It burns. It hurts. Years I and like years that, of practice. Because I would argue that anything worth doing in life hurts, you know, Playing football, opening a business, getting married, right. childbirth, Having raising kids. kids. Yeah, all of it hurts. If it doesn't hurt, what's the point? All right, the, Tom, let's get let's let's exact see it here. Exact same thing. I'm just snuffing the fire. Since I'm tall, I have to check my uh... right on the tongue. Oh my goodness! Oh my! <laughs> 
oh, you had that laying on your tongue above your teeth. And that's the exact same thing. So I did that as long as I possibly could before it catches up. You know, the thing of like, you know, how long can you do that before you get hurt? You practice and practice and practice, and you learn from, you know, the pain will teach you rather quickly. Have you got time for one more quick one? Do we have one more quick one? Okay. Yes. So right here is going to be the, the shot. I'm going to actually light a torch off of my face. I'm going to light my face on fire and then light a torch off of my face while my face is on fire. It's my favorite trick. Oh. Oh, my goodness. You know, I was going to try this, but uh, we have run out of time. Tom Britton. He has a show on Saturday at the Hilton Garden in Detroit Southfield. Uh, there you go on American Drive. Uh, just a few tickets left. Um, my goodness, Tom. Amazing. Thank you so much. Thanks amazing for having me. I Good morning, everyone. The show is Freak Show and Tell. You can check them out online as well. Share your comments, your thoughts on today's show. We're